वेलकम टू स्कूल ऑफ गार्डनिंग आई एम शाइनी आई सी इन हैदराबाद व्हिच इज इन इंडिया सो आई गेस गेस व्हाट आर वी लर्निंग टुडे हाउ टू ग्रो माइक्रो ग्रीन्स सुपर न्यूट्रिशियस फूड सो बिफोर गोइंग टू बिफोर शोइंग यू द प्रोसेस लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट माइक्रो ग्रीन्स why everyone are behind these uh, beautiful baby plants is uh, these are also called as uh, micro herbs so scientists have done a research where uh, it is proven that the nutrients these are packed with lots of nutrients and which are six times uh, more than the matured ones so Despite of the size, they are packed with nutrients with the punch. They add flavor to your dishes. Uh, what all you can make is you can have a healthy drink. You can make a smoothie, and uh, you can add it to the dishes. It's add uh, much beautiful colors to your dishes as well. And uh, they grow. Uh, the micro greens usually grow uh, two to three inches, not more than that. You need to harvest uh, once you observe the plant grows uh, two to three inches. So these are the micro greens, and uh, what all micro greens you can eat is fenugreek, cabbage, uh, cauliflower, sunflower, and green gram, and many more. So if you observe the size of the plant is really two inches, but this is really packed with a number of nutrients. They have vitamins, which are like six times more than a mature one. So that is the reason most of the people prefer micro greens than the grown veggies. They add a nutritious, healthy diet, and which are really helpful for being and stay healthy. So let's get into the process. So in this video, I'll be showing you green gram and uh, 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 green gram and as well as the wheat grains, wheat grass. So. The process is same for all the veggie. Uh, so I'll show you one or two. Uh, for I'll show you the wheat grass and the green gram. So how to grow them? The process is same for all the micro greens. So firstly, take uh, wheat grains. Uh, how much you want? The quantity is up to you. So now you need to add wheat grains to a bowl. Any bowl. Then add uh, water. and let this stay for 24 hours so the best way is before you going to sleep uh, take a, a handful of uh, grains soak them in water and the moment you wake up so the, that is the first step the second step is as soon as you wake up the second process is strain the water so i have already soaked these grains for uh, during the night and morning i woke up now i'm straining the water so for straining the water i've used a piece of cloth or a handkerchief so or else you can use a tissue paper as well but i prefer growing old technique which usually uh, ma moms and grandmothers usually uh, you know uh, they soak uh, they uh, grow sprouts uh, in a handkerchief and uh, the germination will be really fast and very healthy and you can use it's up to you depending on the what you have you can use tissue paper or a piece of cloth or a handkerchief after straining the water let them stay do not disturb them let them stay for 24 hours so you need to close it tightly strain all the water close it tightly and let them stay for 24 hours now i have already soaked them for 24 hours and this is the result beautifully sprouted I hope you can clearly see in the video. So these are beautifully sprouted, and uh, see the sprouts have really come up, hundred percent germination. So the same way I have done for the green gram sprout. I guess you can see the sprout here. 
Look at this sprout, how big it is. So, once you observe this sprout, now it's time for us to sow them in the soil. Let's sow them. taken this plate uh, usually uh, we use it uh, as a support uh, uh, for the pot which we usually keep a pot on this so I've taken these plates uh, in nursery you will get it for 10 uh, it, uh, the starting range would be 10 depending on the size and this is like 25 rupees uh, plate so can you see the uh, height it is just 2 inches so less soil and grow healthy food. So that is the concept. So this plate I made a hole here. So with a driller. So you need to make a hole here. Now let's add soil. added just one inch of the soil okay so I have added only one inch of the soil now take the sprout Done with the adding, uh, sowing the seeds. Now let's add, uh, let's cover these uh, grains which are really uh, sprouted really well with the other top layer of the soil. them neatly All the sprouts have been uh, covered. Check if the sprouts are visible. Now, so isn't it simple? Sowing. So, how do you water is sprinkle them. how you sprinkle water and wait for uh, 6 to 7 days 
it is the usual germination process it takes 6 to 7 days and after 6 to 7 days and here is the result so beautifully grown these are the microgreens so this is fenugreek and uh, this is green gram and they are ready to harvest so I have to harvest now so that is how uh, you grow microgreens at home you can, uh, you can keep them uh, indoors and out outdoors as well but as it is rainy season make sure you keep it in a shady area so that the, this does not get disturbed by the uh, rain water so as i told you sprinkle less water and very carefully gently and uh, make sure the seeds doesn't come up so that is the entire video of growing the microgreens thank you so much for watching i hope you like it and uh, please grow your microgreens and add healthy diet Thank you so much with lots of love shiny and please subscribe. So this is the result, 100% germination of wheat grass.